So I think I've come out of the closet as a medium. I mean, I don't know how much more out of the closet you can be considering the fact that I've had a national television show that's aired on the Oprah Network and then I wrote a book with a major publishing company. So one would think that, yeah, Carmel Baird, she's out of the closet. But let me tell you what happened. Um, the other day, uh, this came to myself and my husband. We were doing a uh, Facebook Live. And I thought it was really cool to go live on Facebook and tell all my fans how my husband came running up the stairs from the basement because he thought that he had seen a ghost. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to take to the 30 some odd thousand people that are on my Facebook, that follow me, that watch the show, that may be interested in the fact that Dave has seen a spirit. Well, let me tell you, I accidentally went live on the River Lane Ranch page and not on the Kermal Joy Bear page. So if you don't know what that is, we also have a ranch and a Healing with Horses therapy program and we breed and raise gypsy horses and uh, we help people with equine therapy. It's a total passion and a love and something we've been working towards this project for the last few years. So as soon as I got off the page, my initial reaction is, oh my gosh, why didn't my staff, why didn't anybody tell me? My second thought is, well, no wonder I only had 50 viewers. And my third thought is, delete that right away. You know, I never wanted anyone to segregate and not want to buy a horse from us or not feel comfortable coming to the equine therapy program because they found out that I was a medium and they might think that I'm a woo-woo or just not right, which is sometimes debatable because my family thinks I'm crazy. Sure do. <laughs> Anyway, the point is, is that immediately I deleted it and I started to feel shame inside myself and I realized I was shaming myself and I'm not fully out of the closet. How could I even feel that or think that? Why am I so worried about what people think? I would never judge anyone for what they believe or their race or their color or their creed, but why do I instantly feel shamed and begin to judge myself and shame myself for being live on the wrong Facebook page? And then suddenly I was like, wait a second, maybe you're not as out of the closet as what you think you are. And then it got me thinking, what do people think of mediums in 2019? Do they believe in us? Are we still those crazy ladies with big hoop earrings and crystal balls? I mean, is that really what this is all about? Maybe. So Melissa, I have a question for you. Obviously, you know, there was a time when you two didn't necessarily believe in the spirit. I did think you were crazy, but I was like, okay, show me. And then... Um, did you get a reading? No. Okay. I never bought you one? No. Not a very good mom. I know. What made you believe I wasn't a woman? Um, one, you started to tell me stories. Then people started to come out of your reading room, and they were crying but they would tell me the stories and then I started to believe. I remember thinking right. that you were in a cult and then you're like no, you wait a me. second go back. You thought that your mother was in a cult? Yeah. Great. That's wonderful. Yeah. Do you think the general population knows what a medium is? No. And what's crazy is this year I've been doing a lot of self development and everybody in the courses I've been taking knows about intuition or um, raising their energy and their vibration and how that affects them and chakras and meditating. Nobody knows about psychics and mediums and um, I don't even know if they're open to it. Well, I'm going to make you interview some people. No. Yes. We'll see. Since when did you get shy? Well, just with people I don't know. Stranger danger. <laughs> Okay, let's see you go to work. Do your magic, girl. It feels easier to do when you're filming a TV show because you have an entire crew with you. Um, so you don't worry about it. Get back here. Don't be rude. <sighs> Awkward. It's harder than you think to walk up to people and announce that you're a medium. You're rude. You're flossing your teeth in the middle of the Walmart parking lot. No, but I, I mean, pick like, my teeth. I pick my butt. In public? Yeah, if I go to Witch, yeah, I pick it. <laughs> I do. I, you, there's not one person watching this video right now that does not get stuff stuck in their teeth, that does not fart, 
does not have a booger that drives them nuts when they're trying to talk to somebody or doesn't get a wedgie. But you, you all do. So you're saying you would rather pick a wedgie, pick your teeth, or pick your nose in Walmart rather than walk up to someone and say, hey, do you know what a medium is? Mm. Yep. <laughs> I would. No, I'm not, I'm not joking. What made it so difficult for us to do that? Because everybody picks their butt. Not everybody knows what mediums are or not everybody believes in them and not everybody is one. Okay, this vlogging thing, trying to get people to be on camera, it's a lot harder than you think. We've already had two people that refused to be on camera and not only that, didn't believe in mediums. Didn't want to have any conversations about it and thought that we were batshit crazy. I also didn't know how socially awkward I was. Like, you know, when I'm filming a TV show and you walk in with all the camera crews, it's one thing. It felt like everyone was looking at you anyway. So you were forced to come out of the closet. But if you're by yourself and it just feels awkward, I don't know. And even though I could tell that some people know who I am, you're still not sure if you want to walk up to them and be like, hey, I'll see you dead people. Not that I would ever say it like that. Just saying. Okay, so here's the skinny. Every time I asked someone if they wanted to be interviewed or if they'd let me film them, they all said no and they were totally uncomfortable. Which, okay, I get it. I am a stranger and stranger danger. So I've recruited my daughters who have headed out to see if they can have better luck than me. So let's see what they can find out. What is the problem? Why can't you just talk to people? You're ashamed of your mother being a medium. Keep going. Oh my God. Keep going! We're trying to video people. My mom keeps calling us and asking us, have you asked this person? Have you asked that person? What, or what, do you, what questions are you asking them? Like, oh my God, can't you just video people yourself? And people don't want to be on camera. Like we're trying and we went to Party City. We went to see you on food. It's like, um, I'm not doing this for another hour. We're going to go to the mall and if we don't get nobody, tough luck. I'm over this, Linda. Friday night, I want to do something. Yeah. Next no, time we somebody agrees to giving us an interview, I'm gonna say, what do you think it is living the life of somebody who has a mom that's a medium? Melissa will be doing this next time because I'm over it. Right, Gracie? Are you over it? Yeah. No. Uh, do you know what a medium is? Um, yeah, that's somebody who Yes. Do you know what a medium is? Uh, it, I can't explain it, but I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they believe that they can predict certain things, not necessarily the future, but... Okay. Perfect. Do you believe in mediums? Um, I'm skeptical. Uh, it's not that I don't believe in supernatural things, it's that it's hard to believe who it is real. Okay. Totally. Do you know what a medium is? Yes. Okay. Do you believe in mediums? Oh, yeah. Do you believe in mediums? Not really. No? Okay. Um, and would you ever go see a medium if you haven't? No. No? Would you ever go see one? Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen one? No, I haven't. Okay. What kind of I believe in, like, astrology, and I have crystals at home. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Um, would you ever go see a medium? Um, possibly. I know my friend went to the psychic fair in Grand Prairie once. Oh. Would you ever go see a medium? Or have you ever seen a medium? I have not, and I would. Well, I've been interested in seeing one. I have never seen one because, again, you never know who's going to rip you off. I've seen and I know how to do the, the simple fake me medium stuff, which is like the whole oh, K and oh, you like, oh, you lost a sister, didn't okay. you? And people people give too much away sometimes. You know, I've seen a bunch of those things. I do believe in a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense, too. Yeah. But I mean, science. <laughs> what do you think a medium's life would be like? Um, I think it'd be really stressful because it can pick up energies from other people. I think it would be hard to go out in public because like there's so many people trying to connect with you. Yeah. What do you think a medium's life would be like? Oh, it's probably hard. <laughs> <laughs> like big time. I think the fact that, you know, having people like walk past you and seeing someone they love or knew there that, and the spirit and stuff and that just be very hard to kind of you know ignore it maybe yeah. and 
even like not wanting to tell them and stuff like that? It would be hard. Um, and I think that it's a possibility. I do believe again that there are supernatural things out there. If somebody told, walked up to me like, you're going to win the lottery tomorrow and I if you go buy this ticket and I did and I did then I would believe from that day for the rest of my life okay, sure so you want proof right oh, 100% okay. yeah okay. even the considering the day and age we live in I think people are still really close minded are you close minded no what do you think about mediums I think it's cool what do you think about your wife being a medium I think it's cool look at every time I go to vlog you you're smoking I don't know okay. good timing no it's not good timing it's bad timing <laughs> You have kind of like a halo thing around you from the lamppost. Could Dude. you lean forward a bit? Oh, not, no. This is my angel. There's no <laughs> angel about you, babe. In summary, what did I learn? There are people in the world who may not know what a medium does, but they do know how difficult and challenging it might be. My family is crazy, <laughs> but I also learned that we could be in certain closets in one part of our life but we may be out of a closet in another area of our life so what it did for me was ask me to take a really good hard look of where i feel comfortable in my life and who i can open up to about who i am and what i do and what my life is like and make sure that i feel like that in all areas of my life every job everything that we do in our lives is going to come with the good the bad and the ugly and if we can appreciate and look in at others and say hey you're doing a really great job then that's all that matters i look forward to seeing you next week and you've got to be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you like this video below and post a comment how'd you find me how are you watching me and keeping up with Carmel? I'd love to know. And you can always head to my website, carmeldrybear.com. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, just about any kind of social media thing there is. I'm there. You can hook me up. Give me a shout out and let me know that you're following. I would love to connect with you soon.